Hi, I'm Kai, and today we have a look at the plot frame in ePlan. Especially the big white area in the middle of your plot frame is really important to improve the quality and efficiency of your electrical engineering. When your electrical drawing looks like a flipbook, you definitely should watch this video. So stay tuned. Before we start, a special offer for all channel members of my YouTube channel. You can download the plot frame for free on the community tab of my YouTube channel. And for all others, you can register under epartsexchange.com and download the file there. The link is below in the video description. And now have a look on our plot frame. So when we have a look on a typical drawing, we can see that we have here some interruption points. We have maybe an MCCB, we have some contactors and the coil of the conductor, the contacts, we have terminals, we have cables, we have motor and we have text, we have PLC inputs, PLC outputs. I think this is something everybody knows and you are using this frequently on your electrical schematics. How you can make and sure that all these things are always on the same position? It is really important that you make maybe a macro project and save also some basic circuits in your macro project. And therefore you should have also a plot frame, which gives you some indication where to place different things. So I press U on my keyboard and make invisible things visible. And then you can see already here on the left side that I have on my plot frame a few indicators here where I place normally specific things. So you cannot read this, but don't worry, the plot frame is translated into different languages. So we just change here the language. And now we have also the English version. So let's start with the left corner. You have here the interruption point, for example, for the three phases, L1, L2, L3. And we have here also a small marking. So when we move this now here to this marking, then it's on the right position also in the Y axis. Why is this here a little bit far away from the left side? It can happen that you use function and location designations and then the cross reference get a little bit bigger. So it's better to place this a little bit more on the right side. The next indicator here indicates where the first MCCB, for instance, is uh, placed. And you can also see here on the left side set we have an indicator here. So X and Y coordinates on your drawing is clear. And when we put uh, I, and when we click I on our keyboard, you can see here the small indicator, which represents the insertion point. And this is also on this position. So now we have here the feedback signal, which is basically here. And we have also here the indicator also for the PLC box. The conductor or some sensors can be placed on this position. And when we have a look here on our sensor, we have terminals and cables. Also, this is marked here on the left side. Let's go a little bit down. And when we have external things connected to our control cabinet, for example, we have here a motor connected with some terminals. We can also give a hint here on the left side where to place the cable or if it's a shielded cable. And for example, the contact mirror. The contact mirror is placed here. The setting for the contact mirror is in the plot frame settings. So therefore we will open the plot frame. We go to master data and here on plot frame. And when you want to create your own plot frame, you definitely should copy an existing one. But in my case, I will open now this plot frame. And when we make a right click here in the page navigator and go to properties, you can find the contact image Here, so it's 60 millimeter from um, from the bottom corner. So this is here, this small point here on the left side, and this is also here the 60 millimeter from this corner. We can also measure this. So 
So these are the 60 millimeters. When you want to have it higher or lower, you need to change the setting here in the properties. Okay, we delete this, otherwise you will see it al always in your plot frame. So here you can also change the logo from my company to the logo from your company. And if you want to have more information here in the bottom part, you also can change this. Or if you want to fill something and you don't know which um, texts here are automatically shown, you can also have a look here. So basically most of these informations comes from the project settings and these are when we go to text project properties or page properties with this information you can get automate automated informations from your project settings so have a look when we for example have a look on um, kai's project or the job, job number we go to file and here to the properties and you see that the project description is here and the job number for example is here so this values will be automatically shown in your plot frame so maybe you want to add something here on the left side for example we have here the l minus potential below a coil maybe you want to fix also this So we can go here to our plot frame, but before we maybe copy this, mark everything, control C on your keyboard, and here we can make control V and click X and Y on our keyboard. And you'll see that the auto connection um, lines are disappeared, but anyhow, we can set it just to make sure that we add, for example, here another indicator for the L minus when it's when it's below a coil so we can say do not um, translate we can also call it M doesn't matter and when we have it make, make sure you delete everything on your plot frame or everything what is in the center of your plot frame Otherwise, you will see it later on. And now we delete, we close the plot frame, click yes. And we have now here another indicator for L minus. So when we go to an empty page now and we want to insert, for example, the interruption point, we know it should be here on this position. If it's L1, we can click tap on our keyboard to make the right version, the right um, variant and call it L1, for example. So if you want to insert a motor, go to the insert center and search for a motor. And we use, for example, this one. We place it here. When we now switch the pages here, you see that everything is on the same positions. And this makes it much easier for you in your engineering to find always the same position and have it on the same places. So have you done your own plot frame with own indicators? Please let it know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. And I hope to see you in the next video.